<coughs> Hello, everybody. Y'all gather around, set your chat to all panelists and attendees. We will be getting started momentarily. We're going to go live. Da, da, da. Let's see if I can get back to you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Facebook. Welcome to Jumpstart January week four orientation. Uh, I'm going to get this pulled up where I can see what's going on on the Facebook page at the same time. One moment. All right. Good to see so many friends and faces. We're going to be talking today about a seven day weight loss personal challenge that you can do from the comfort of your own home. As long as you're a Shibboleth member, I've got some rules. I've got some meal uh, options and I am here to accept your questions as to whether or not you understand the rules and the meal options. Today is Friday, the 24th of January. This challenge will start on the 27th and run through February the 2nd. Uh, that is Monday through Sunday night. Uh, we suggest that you actually uh, get involved with your weight loss program in other words, join Shibboleth before you try to do a challenge. But challenges are really for uh, mental weakness. They are for focus. They are to get all of the questions out of the way and to simply follow a preset plan. So all of the food choices have been planned out for you. All the portioning has been planned out for you. All you have to do is choose the foods or the daily plans that line up with what you personally like and execute that day to the glory of God. We are going to be eating under the Lord as always, and we are going to be accomplishing our goals one day at a time. I would like to share my screen with you and show you a little bit about what's going on. First, the Shibboleth challenge can be found once you log into your website here on your home page, you'll want to click on this orange tab that says challenge. Uh, week four will be the first challenge you see. Now I'm already active in the challenge for uh, week three and I've already accepted the week four challenge so I do not have a button. But if you are looking at your uh, website, what you will see here is uh, a button that says, um, that, you know, for you to join, you'll click on the green button and you will actually start uh, from there. Um, it's going to be a $10 entry fee to get started with everybody. You can pay up front and, uh, and, and the challenge will actually start on Monday the 27th. Let me show you right quick what a challenge day looks like. This is my journal for today. Today, I'm, I'm actually having an intermittent fasting day. And what I have done, I'm having two meals today, one at 2 o'clock, one at 7 p.m., both after, out, after lunch, one cup of unstuffed cabbage rolls each. Uh, I woke up at 6.15. I'm going to bed at 10 p.m. My weight has been journaled for the day. I am going to drink 176-plus ounces of water, Bragg's apple cider vinegar, and I'm taking, that's not correct, it's zero drags, vitamins plus is what I'm taking at the moment. Now I'm showing you this because this is a simple journal, a day journaled. You'll know you're on the challenge because you'll have this, this blue bar around your day. This box, if you will, will be around your day, just depending on what view you have of your website. I also declare my day in my journal notes. So today is week three and day five for me, and I'm declaring my day along with my scripture for the day and my hashtag. My hashtag today being Ask God. 
Um, now, I just wanted to show you that so you would know whether or not, once you join, whether you're active or not, Monday morning, you should have that blue box around your day. So getting started, once you get in, if you click on challenges and scroll down and click on uh, that button and get into, involved in the challenge, in other words, you join the challenge, you're going to click here where it says Jumpstart January Challenge Week 4, and you'll see these four boxes. These four boxes or buttons, I like to call them buttons, they're tabs, buttons, boxes. Clicking on these boxes will get you into the groups, text lists, it will give you the meal options, and it will give you the rules for the challenge. So um, I would encourage you to uh, get signed up, get your, get your entry fee paid, and click on these boxes and get enlisted into uh, the text uh, group and the Facebook group as soon as possible. Also, once you print out your meal options, you'll be prepared to go shopping for your for the week and to get your your groceries either ordered or um, or you can just go pick them up yourself. I have already clicked on these and got everything going. So the rules for Jumpstart January week four are like I said, it starts the 27th and ends at midnight on the 2nd of February. Uh, you'll need to sign up in the website like I just mentioned. Um, each participant will be granted access into the Jumpstart January Challenge Facebook group. You'll need to request entry via that button. You'll have to answer a few questions. We'll know it's you by the, by the way you answer those questions. We'd love to send you a welcome uh, message and get you involved there. Um, just an FYI, there really is no holidays on this one week challenge. However, you guys, however, I have allowed for one holla meal. So when we look at the challenge, let's see if I can show you. It says right here, holidays restriction one. It's going to tell you, you can have a holiday. Okay. The rules over on the previous page. Here, it's gonna say holidays one right here. I hope y'all can see my cursor moving around that one. It actually says you can have one holiday, but the truth is I don't want you to have one. So it allows for one, but uh, I really don't want you to take it. This challenge requires no exercise. However, if you're an exerciser, if you walk five or more miles a day or five or more miles at all during the challenge, you have earned the right to eat a a small apple or a small orange as a snack for the day. Now, some of you will use that to load carbs so you can have some energy for that walk. That's fine. If you are going to, Patricia, go out and walk five miles, which you do every day, you could just go ahead and have your small orange or your small apple and set out on your, uh, on your journey and get that out. You will burn that apple or that orange right off. Um, this challenge allows no snacks unless you've earned them, as I just mentioned. Okay, all participants must first take a body fat assessment. So I'm going to jump over to the website and I'm going to show you where to find your assessment. First, we'll click on our home page and scroll down here till these uh, you see these six blue boxes on your phone. Uh, these things should be on the home page as well. I always click the Shibboleth logo in the upper left hand corner to get to the home page. You may also click where it says home here to get to your body fat assessment. Now you're going to need a tape measure and a scale to get your body fat assessment done. Um, one caveat here, anybody who is not or, or who has already, excuse me, participated in a challenge recently and or done a body fat assessment, you do not need to go and take another body fat assessment in order to uh, learn what you need to know so long as you have printed out or you've taken a screenshot of your body fat assessment. So I'm gonna stop sharing for a minute, I'm gonna show you. There is a print option on the body fat assessment that I, I, I made a little boo-boo here, give me a half a second. Yeah, there's a print option on the body fat assessment that gives you the ability to print out your assessment. And what you're gonna need is this lean body number here. There's a, there's a say lean body and there'll be a number there. The purpose of this assessment 
is well not just to not just to have an assessment but to also know what our i've got to clean up this mess you can give me a half a second it's gonna get on my nerves all right that's done um is to know where we stand i like to know where i stand in my body i like to know where i stand with my weight the body fat assessment will tell you that uh, is it the most accurate tool that there is and no it's not the most accurate tool there is the most accurate tool would be to be calibrated or to get a body displacement uh, assessment through water. It will, you get in a, a water bath and they will give you an assessment that way. This is close enough. This is good enough for what we're using it for. Um, back to my rules, let's see. Okay, so uh, taking this assessment is going to be something that we'll, we'll need to determine the lean body weight, okay? First, you're going to be offered, there's more than 25 meals. I've actually got 30 meals for you to choose from plus some. There's 30 plus meals for you to choose from on the challenge. Uh, you'll consume water ounces equal to your lean body weight. You will uh, be consuming food during a declared daily uh, eating window. Okay, you get to choose what eating window that you participate with each day. Windows are six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 hours. Each day you must declare one eating window and stay with it the whole day. For best results, you're gonna wanna stop and start your eating window while the sun is up. It's not a requirement, it's just a suggestion for what? Best results, that's right. Okay, so uh, you have the option on several days to start or finish a day with a combination. Uh, once you choose your daily meal plan, you may select one of the combination options mentioned, but you also need to be sure to follow the portion limitations for that um, combination. I'll give you an example of that now. Here is, here are, I'm sorry, the first five daily meal options to choose from. Now, uh, so I'm going to just use this as an example. We have the UMP day here, the Beverly UMP protein day, uh, ultimate muscle protein. You can have two scoops three times a day, or you can have one scoop with a bio coffee or one scoop with a coca ringa three times a day if you want to do the UMP day. Now, it is a day you may choose. Um, so let me, let, me, let me explain. If you choose the if you choose the up day, that's all you eat during that day. I'm gonna give you the example behind me by utilizing this, this. So we are allowed three eating episodes for the day. I am going to pick an eating window, an EW, an eating window. In this eating window, let's say I choose eight hours. I just need to make sure if I'm starting meal one at 10, right, that I get meal, a three in by six o'clock okay this is this is as simple as i can put it okay it's just as, as, as simple as i put it right six seven eight there's eight hours in here i can put my 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 second meal anywhere in between here that i want okay what 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 is the purpose of choosing an eight hour window probably practical with my schedule okay so the idea here is is Jason's taking care of the portion. Jason is taking care of the food. I select which day I want, which gives me portions, and it gives me the food options. The next thing I do is I engage my personal life into the challenge. So if my personal life says today, I can't eat until 10 a.m., okay? And I know I'm not gonna be able to get a dinner meal in until 6 p.m. That gave me an eight hour window. I have up to 10 hours to choose from. Now maybe you don't wanna have an eight hour window. Maybe you want to try to have all your food in in a six hour time frame. okay? How would I change that? I might change this to noon. I might change this to four. Uh, both of these examples that I'm giving you are to eat during when the sun shines up, okay? If, if, if you work night shift, you have to eat whenever you can and you pick your, your, your window appropriately. If you want to eat later in the day, that's perfectly fine. So long as you pick the window that's appropriate for when you can get your meals in. I hope I've explained the eating window process there uh, for you um, 
well enough. I'll answer questions shortly. So here is the second option to choose from. It is, I'm on a quest. This day actually uh, utilizes um, the quest bar. Now, whether or not you've ever had a quest bar or not, um, I don't know. You know, so maybe Joni, you like quest bars, and Jerry Ann, maybe you don't like quest bars. So Joni would maybe want to pick a quest day, but Jerry Ann would not want to pick a quest day. Whether I tell you the quest day will efficiently burn uh, body fat at twice the rate of the PB and J day, there's going to be a lot more people pick PB and J day because of personal preference. That's why we have so many different days to choose from, and I hope you will capitalize Rebecca on the days that you want to uh, utilize because they're all good days for weight loss. Some great, but they're all good for weight loss. You could lose up to 10 pounds doing this if you'll just participate with all your heart, all your might, and all your soul, and all your strength, right? Eat unto the Lord, let him have the results, this thing will work out for you. So on a quest day, you have the option of three quest bars or you can have a, one of your eating episodes could be a seven plus two, a one plus two, or a four plus two. So the, the one and seven have a three to five ounce portion. The two, the four has a two to four ounce portion and the category twos, a half a cup to one cup. Okay, so three to five, let's see if I can get this to, this work this out. So my meal portions on my plate, if it's a one plus two or a seven plus two, are gonna be three to five ounces of the one or the seven, and it's gonna be one half cup up to one cup of the twos on the other side of the plate. This is simply the, the rules for the challenge. Now, some of you will say, well, Jason, on regular Shibboleth, I can have more than that. I get it. I'm trying to dial you in to where I'm taking care of the portions and you're participating in my challenge. So let me be the coach and help you get the most out of this weight loss experience. If you guys, I could have left that one. If you guys are having the four plus two option when it's available, the four plus two option is only available on some days, not every day. But if you want to participate with the four plus two option, you do a half a cup up to one cup and the four option you get two to four ounces two to four ounces that's it this is not where the day of the this is not where we're going to have plenty of food this is these are days where we're going to have great weight loss success we're going to focus more and more and more and more each day through our roundups through our prayer and through our um, intentional efforts to focus less on food and more on other aspects of life. Less on food, more on other aspects of life. If we do this on purpose, this challenge on purpose, the food and the and the practice of the challenge will take care of itself. So we have a PB&J day. PB&J day. I believe I had the PB&J day either yesterday or the day before. In the PB&J day, you can have one to two tablespoons of nuts and more approved nut butter on an approved wrap or a, uh, two slices of category two bread. Now, the approved wrap and the approved category two breads are all found in the Facebook group on the challenge, okay? Just so you know, these have challenge approved breads. These challenge approved breads, I'll pull it up for you and I'll read them off to you just so you know. I don't have this listed on the meal plan for a reason. Um, I usually take lots of questions about this. I'm okay with that, I'm okay with questions, I'm okay with you questioning my, my thought process, I'm, I'm okay with all that stuff, but the, the breads that are approved are Shibola type protein brown bread, you may have up to two slices, Nature's Own double fiber wheat bread, you may have up to two slices, you may have one tortilla of the La Tortilla Factory 50 calorie wrap, the uh, Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Wrap, the La Banderita Carb Counter Whole Wheat Wrap. You may have one of those on the challenge. You may also have the Joseph's Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Pita and the Joseph Heart 
friendly oat and stone ground wheat pita. That's two different pitas, okay? One of those pitas, the oat bran and whole wheat pita, is a little bitty thing. It's a little tiny thing. I believe there's that, that, that you can have, you may be able to have two of those. But otherwise, that those are the breads that are allowed on the challenge, if that helps you at all. Uh, the hardcore day is a hardcore uh, eating day. Four to six ounces of fish or chicken breast, any fish or chicken breast meat, with one, uh, one half to one cup of category two veggies three times a day. Okay, it's either or, can you mix it up? This was a question that I got uh, earlier. Can I mix up and do half fish and half chicken? Sure you can. But your portion size is only four to six ounces on this day. The rest of the time, your category one is three to five ounces if you're, if you're making your portions by, uh, by yourself. Okay, the Mighty Muffin Day is a fun day uh, because you get to eat Mighty Muffins. You can either do it three times a day or this day allows a uh, seven plus two, one plus two, or a four plus two. One of my personal uh, favorites is the tuna up or chicken out day. Uh, we have several tuna salad and chicken salad recipes that are challenge approved. They are listed in this day. So you got tuna salad recipe. That's the name of the recipe. All you gotta do is look it up. And tuna salad is Debbie's So Good Chicken Salad. It's another recipe, Cleo's Chicken Salad, or the Cream Cheese Ranch Chicken Salad. All four of those can be utilized on this challenge. And then you'd simply use your category two uh, bread that you choose from the list, or you can uh, eat it on a bed of lettuce. Now that's three times a day, or I'm sorry, two times a day, and then you only get the one plus two or seven plus two on this day. We do not suggest, I do not suggest you have a four plus two on tuna up or chicken out day. Okay, excellent day. Excellent day has been popular since I've been doing these challenges. Uh, it has failed to roll off of the, the list because so many people enjoy it and enjoy losing weight by utilizing it. The two to four egg whites or two eggs, you could do either one. And you may have two slices of Shibboleth brown bread, Shibboleth high protein brown bread, three times a day. You have the option to put one slice of fat-free cheese on those on the brown bread or on that eating episode. You may also only do it twice, the, the eggs in the brown bread twice, and you may choose to have a one plus two or a seven plus two on that day as well. Remember, remember, no four plus two on excellent day, please. Only the one plus two or the seven plus two. The HealthWise day utilizes HealthWise products. You may have HealthWise hot chocolate with a bio coffee twice a day, or you may have one to two packages of HealthWise oatmeal twice a day. Now, go ahead and, and run this through your brain. If you'd like to have uh, a HealthWise hot chocolate and a bio coffee for one meal and up to two packs of oatmeal for the other meal, I will allow that, that's fine. You may then uh, have one HealthWise ready-made uh, shelf-stable meal for your third meal for the HealthWise day. This day is just a really easy day to, to knock out of the park. Great results, great products. We have the hemp day. You may have a third of a hemp bar twice a day. You may finish the day with a category two salad with two to three tablespoons of hemp flakes or hemp hearts. Or you can finish the day with a one plus two or a seven plus two. Dairy Queen Day is a fun day. The Dairy Queen Day is one cup of Oikos Triple Zero yogurt with up to one cup of low fat cottage cheese. You may add up to one to two tablespoons of hemp flakes or hemp hearts and a palm full of berries if you'd like. That's twice a day. I personally will sometimes do that three times a day. I will allow it three times a day for sure. I do not prefer the low fat cottage cheese option. Maybe you do. Um, I do prefer to have the hemp flakes and the berries in my yogurt, um, but uh, seldom do I get fresh berries. So the hemp uh, hearts, the very sweet hemp flakes are my go-to. Uh, a one plus two or a seven plus two would be the only recommended uh, combinations on the Dairy Queen day. 
Uh, we have the Get Unstuffed Day. This is what I'm doing currently today. I showed you in my journal. I have omitted one meal for today. So um, I have the ability to have three meals if I choose, but that will uh, get into my plan. My plan is only two, so two it is. And then the option two of the Get Unstuffed Day is to have a seven plus two or a one plus two. This is a day that you would choose when you were not going to want to have a four plus two. So a one plus two, seven plus two option only. The perfect pairing day is fun. Okay, lots of people miss things like fruit on our program. So I have chosen the perfect pairing um, day to satisfy those cravings, to give you great weight loss results, and to prove to yourself that you can eat fruit and lose weight efficiently. You may have one half of a grapefruit, one small apple, or one cup of berries with three to six ounces of egg whites twice a day, and you would follow that up with a seven plus two or a one plus two. The oatmeal pie day, oatmeal pie. Um, this is a Finiflex oatmeal pie. Please do not try this day with the um, Little Debbie oatmeal pie, okay? You'll need some uh, Beverly Ump protein powder or some uh, Healthwise hot chocolate to complete the oatmeal pie day successfully. It's a half of a pie eaten twice a day with one scoop of Ump or a half of a pie eaten twice a day with one package of HealthWise hot chocolate each time. So if you have a half of an oatmeal pie, you would have a packet of hot chocolate with it each time. If you have a container, a canister, or a tub, some people call them tubs of hot chocolate, the HealthWise hot chocolate, it's two scoops of HealthWise hot chocolate with a half an oatmeal pie. This day is also finished or completed with a seven plus two and a one plus two combination. <clears throat> The Gut Buster Challenge is, a, uh, uh, the Gut Buster Day is a fun day on our challenge. You get an approved tortilla and uh, Lynn's Mock Crystal recipe. This recipe tastes like a crystal burger. That's why we call it the Gut Buster. You eat it twice a day and you finish the day or complete the day with a seven plus two and one plus two. Please remember to follow the portion rules on these days for the, the, the best weight loss results. It's so chilly is the cream cheese chicken chili recipe number two on the website. Cream cheese chicken chili number two recipe three times a day or you can do it twice a day with a seven plus two or a one plus two option. Now we have the hemp salad day. The hemp salad day has been a, a fat shredding day for years on the program. You take a large bowl you put your favorite category two vegetables in it and you cover it with six to eight tablespoons of a heaping tablespoons of hemp hearts or hemp flakes. You stir it in. You may use MCT dressing or any zero calorie dressing that you, you would like. And you eat on that thing all day or during your chosen eating window. Okay. Whatever your chosen eating window is, you have that time to consume up to the whole bowl as much of or up to the whole bowl. It's an excellent day for weight loss, an excellent day to, to actually feel full. Rebecca, maybe you struggle with uh, feeling unsatisfied, dissatisfied. You, you're, you wanna feel full, the, your meals aren't filling you up enough. The hemp salad day is a great day for that. The Zaxby's day is a fun day if you uh, have a family outing. I know my kids love Zaxby's. It's expensive, but it, it, it's one of those places where, I mean, everybody is happy uh, when we choose to go there, right? I mean, it's like everybody's like, oh, great, we're going to Zaxby's. There's no pouty lips, none of that. So all I need to do is to consume a seven plus two or a one plus two twice that day, okay? Twice that day using these uh, combination rules. And then I can go to Zaxby's uh, for uh, one of my eating episodes of the day and I can get either the Zaxby's Grilled Chicken Caesar or the house salad, as long as there's no crunchies on it, no bread on it, and we take our own dressing, our own approved dressing. Um, I prefer to use hot sauce on my salads at Zaxby's as my dressing. Uh, some of the vegetarian and vegan options uh, were lacking 
we created the category six day to cover uh, some bases with some people that may be struggling with some of the food options that we have and came up with the category six day. You get one cup of beans. And of course, let me say this, it's category six beans. So kidney beans, white beans, northern beans, red beans, pinto beans, black beans, garbanzo beans, you can have up to one cup of beans. And you optionally can add one half of a cup of category two vegetables to your beans, okay? So you either have just the beans, or you add the vegetables to the beans, you eat that twice a day, and then you may have a one plus two or a seven plus two for your remaining eating episode. The power crunch day or the power up day, you get a power crunch bar three times a day. This is not the chocolate chocolate bar. This is just the power crunch wafer bars. You can have that three times a day, or this is a day that does allow a four plus two. So seven plus two, one plus two, or a four plus two. Power up day is an excellent weight loss day. Matter of fact, Cindy had lost uh, upwards of 12 pounds in one week, and she utilized the power up day uh, several days during that week. The All American Day is a fun day to if you're if you feel like you're challenged out during the challenge and you want to get a lot of different stuff and and you know get a, hit all those different taste buds. You can use two eggs with two slices of brown bread, so both high protein brown bread. You can then do one to two Hebrew National 96% lean or ballpark all white turkey franks with one category two tortilla that's approved on the, the challenge or, or your, your favorite category two veggie. And then you get a hamburger steak, uh, or you may use it as a hamburger on a bread, uh, like a, eat it like a hamburger bun, but you're gonna wanna use the double fiber wheat bread for that. Or a category two veggie, the All-American Day is a fun day, and it usually equals some good weight loss too. Remember, don't focus on what you want, focus on the portions that I have allotted for each day. Here is, um, I think this is 20 through 25, right? So Chick-fil-A day has uh, is gonna be on the list again. Chick-fil-A day works out well because you can have a meal replacement bar for a meal on Chick-fil-A day. All you need to do is get to Chick-fil-A once. You get eight grilled or fried nuggets with a side salad. Um, I, I'm going to make this suggestion. If you do utilize the side salad, you may use one package of light Italian dressing, or you can get the uh, buffalo sauce. They have a buffalo nugget sauce. You may pour that on your salad and eat that uh, as your salad dressing. Um, seven plus two or a one plus two, all those little packets that they give you with your side salad, you may, you may get them to put them back into the stock instead of taking them to your table or throwing them away. Just ask them to keep those. And we'll finish the Chick-fil-A day with a seven plus two or a one plus two combination. Uh, the Wendy's day, small chili at Wendy's. You may do this three times a day if you'd like, if you wanna get hardcore with the Wendy's day. Or you may utilize this as a seven, two, one, two, or four and two day. So the Wendy's day does allow us to have a four plus two. Small chili, side salad, that's your rules. Uh, rapid weight loss day, this is a fun day and an easy day for most people to uh, do well on. Uh, we have your portion rule for your category one deli meat. Your category one deli meat, if you have questions about your deli meat, go ahead and purchase it. Start utilizing it. Ask me in the challenge Facebook group if it's approved. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to let you eat it either way, uh, unless it's just her, uh, a terrible choice, and I will let you know. Uh, but you can have a seven plus two, one plus two, or a four plus two on the rapid weight loss day. I know two people are doing rapid weight loss day today on week three. Uh, bar none day involves the Shibboleth wafers or the Shibboleth bars. Uh, my favorite wafer is the uh, raspberry, and my favorite. Um, Shibboleth bar is the uh, salted toffee pretzel. Salted toffee pretzel, yum. It, that's what it's yum. You may have that three times a day. You may alternate between bars or wafers flavor wise, uh, or you may do it twice a day and have a seven plus two, one plus two, or a four plus two for your remaining eating episode. Um, give me some G butter. Now, 
Joni did give me some G butter the other day. Joni's in the challenge group with me right now, I'm pretty sure. Give me G butter, uh, give me some G butter. We use G butter um, spread as little cakes. So four teaspoons, I'm sorry, four tablespoons is one eating episode, okay? So you take four tablespoons, put it in your little dish or put it in the lid. You uh, cook it in the microwave, make a little cake out of it. You can do that twice a day. And for your third eating episode uh, to complete your day at seven plus two or a one plus two, let's see what Joni's saying up here. It's good. I used as much as I had, I needed to, oh, oh jo, uh, Joni's got to get some more product, it seems. That's good. Um, and then here is our last row of days. Have it your way is back by popular demand, okay? The have it your way day is back by popular demand. I will tell you now, I do not like have it your way day, um, but it's necessary Denise, that we have this type of day sometimes. So to change it up, I've added it back. Have it your way day. You can stay in or go out. Doesn't matter if you're doing it at home or on the road. Uh, if you're on the road, everything is a four plus two and you'll need to follow the two to four ounce to one half to one cup option. If you're in, you get seven, two, one, two, or four, two options and you may use these portion rules as follows. Cheesy goodness day is another one backed by popular demand. <laughs> so you get a grilled cheese wrap, okay, which is a quesadilla. That's the way I would suggest you to eat it. Or you could use the double fiber wheat bread, uh, two, two slices of challenge approved double fiber wheat bread, or I would use one um, of those approved wraps, maybe even a pita. I have not had the, a, uh, um, a melted cheese pita yet. It's sounding good with me running it through my brain right now, especially saying it out loud. Um, but you get that twice a day with a 7-2 or a 1-2 to finish the day. The roast, don't die diet. Uh, this is the to die for roast. Don't die, eat the roast. This stuff is super good. It is the number one uh, suggested uh, recipe from Shibboleth members that I add to my challenge. So we created a day, uh, a challenge day for it. You get two to four ounces of the roast with one half to one cup of category two vegetables twice a day. And then you finish up the day with a seven plus two or a one plus two. Uh, this day is nuts. Patricia used to really enjoy this day is nuts. What we found with this day is nuts is it's hard to eat all those nuts when you portion them out correctly. If you're having pistachios in the shell, you get 12 single handfuls. If you're having pistachios out of the shell, you get six heaping handfuls, right? That means as many as will fit in your handful. Heaping does not mean you stack them up there until it looks like a pyramid. Enjoy this day as nuts as many days of the week as you would prefer. And uh, last but not least, you may choose any wild day on the, on the website as your challenge day. This was added last week. Um, I didn't see very many people doing wild challenges unless they were utilizing the uh, wild challenges as I'm fixing to describe. Um, but the wild challenges are available on the challenge. Um, there is a rule. You must declare your day a wild challenge day and you must declare which wild challenge you're doing. We do not waffle on our wild challenge days. For instance, if you say, Jason, I'm doing the Wendy's day, I know exactly what you're going to be eating that day. And if you don't lose weight, I can help you by checking your journal or by uh, asking you some specific questions. If you just say, I'm doing a wild challenge today, and you don't uh, let us know which wild challenge you're doing, I can't really grade how well you're going to perform by it. Just like the, the days on my challenge, the wild challenges perform differently for different people. Um, here are some rules to remember. You may have freebies on my challenge, but only a certain amount of freebies per day. Uh, you can have one cup of baby carrots, one cup of celery, up to five pickles, as many egg whites as you can tolerate or people that you're around can tolerate you having, one cup of cucumbers, 
one cup of peppers, and three to four slices of bran crisp. Now, you say, you're giving me portions for my freebies wine because I don't want you eating freebies all the time. I don't want you snacking on freebies all day. Uh, I actually don't want you eating them at all. So if you do choose baby carrots, measure out a cup. If you eat them up, you must choose a different freebie to have more freebies, okay? Uh, you, you, I have an extra allowance on the challenge. The extra allowance is as follows. One time a day, you may have a HealthWise hot chocolate for free. One time a day, you may have a HealthWise soup for free. One time a day, you may have a Coca Ringa for free. One time a day, you may have a bio coffee for free, or you may have up to 50 calories of sugar-free Jello for free. Now, those are gonna be listed in your journal as an extra if you have them, okay? If you do have one of those, you list it as an extra in your journal. What does that mean, Jessica? That means that I type it in my journal that I've had it, okay? It has to be journaled, or, or you might as well have a holiday. Okay, if you're not going to journal, we don't need to be doing the challenge. The challenge is, is, is should be teaching us self-discipline. We should be practicing self-discipline and the Shibboleth program the proper way every time we do a challenge day. Okay, um, yes, that means, unfortunately, Carol, if I choose to have the um, sugar-free Jello, I don't get to have my free bio coffee. If I choose to have the bio coffee, I don't get to have my HealthWise hot chocolate as my extra. If I if I wanted to have bio coffee and the HealthWise hot chocolate, I could pick a day that has both of those in it, like the ump day. The ump day, I could have both of those and still have a perfect day. So the beverages that are gonna be allowed for my challenge are water, of course, Water is a requirement, it's not an allowance, it is a requirement. Coffee, spark, up to three times a day you can have a spark, up to three times a day you can have a Celsius. You may have unsweet tea, you may have a diet soda, and you may have crystal light, okay? And I could, if I have too much crystal light going on around here, we will put a calorie limit on it as well. Condiments per meal, are to be kept at 15 calories for the duration of the challenge. So if you do choose to use a Shibboleth approved condiment while on the challenge, while I, let's say I did the to die for roast and uh, the 721 today, and I wanted to have some condiment with my shrimp and my broccoli, I would choose to have 15 calories of that condiment maximum. Okay, you may have 15 calories of approved coffee creamer once a day. So if you must have coffee creamer on your, uh, in your coffee, then you may have 15 calories of it one time a day. Um, and this is a rule for those that choose to have or take a hollow meal during the challenge. Uh, you'll wanna mark your day as a holiday in your journal. That's, that's a requirement, the day of the hollow meal. The day you have the mess up, the day you take the meal and you utilize it because it's allowed, you mark that day as a holiday. The preceding day or the day after, I ask that you have a wild challenge. One or the other, okay, either the day before or the day after. You, you participate in a wild day, okay? For best results, I, I suggest that your wild day your wow day, be an intermittent fasting day where you eat in a six hour eating window. And for the, the best results possible, you would have a wow day the day before and the day after you have your hollow meal, okay? Just remember that less is best, okay? I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go live now and I'm gonna pull my chat up. Anybody got questions online, on Facebook? If you guys have questions, now's the time to ask. I would love to answer any questions you may have. Anybody in the Zoom room got questions? It's a $10 fee to join. We have had uh, several hundred pounds lost over the course of January. A lot of people have established what we call our mojo 
We've got our mojo back by participating in the challenge. We'd love to have you join the challenge with us as well. I am considering doing another orientation for this challenge in the afternoon, in the evening hours. If more people would, uh, if you would rather have orientation, not during the day, but later, please tune in for that. And as always, have a blessed day. <laughs>